some good shit. I keep dancing with the devil, but he doesn't have a back door. I am not rich <laughs> at all. We, we we working, we hustling. By no means did this entire setup come together all at once. <laughs> Hey girlfriends and welcome back to another video. Today I'm giving you guys a low-key tour of my beauty room slash office slash dipping facility slash gaming setup. If you guys missed my last beauty slash office tour in 2016 I did one. I took you guys on the entire journey. We pretty much wiped out the entire room. Went down to Ikea about everything that we need and built the things that we could not find or we needed like custom built. So I'm going to show you guys some of like the little things that I switched up and Stuff. I haven't done an updated tour since 2016 and it's now 2019 so I thought I would give you guys an updated tour some of you guys want to see it anyway so yeah so now this time around back then when I put that room together all we had was closed kitchen which is mom's cooking channel as well as my channel ran for one now now we have the cooking channel mom's channel we do a little bit of vlog and a lot of gaming now so things have been added to the room so I guess I'll go ahead and show you guys the actual room first I actually swapped rooms where my office was is now my bedroom and now where my bedroom was is now the office <laughs> this room feels a little bit larger to me but it's just my little opinion i might be wrong <laughs> so it's pretty much the exact same setup but um we're at the front door pretty much and right here i put up some pictures real bootleg until i can get like some actual frames and things but i'm gonna put a whole collage of all the pictures i have and this is pretty much the whole entire room so this side i'm treating as like an office area back there is like the beauty vanity area like from my beauty channel and then and back here was supposed to be like a display kind of storage area I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with it if you guys have any ideas or suggestions let me know in the comments below and then I try to keep over here really really nice and clean <laughs> that way these doors for the closet can open up but like I said I have my pictures here more pictures I have this board I don't think I had this in the last video I got this board from Walmart and I think I got it for about seven eight maybe ten dollars at the most it has the different days on there and it keeps me really really organized it's cleared out because I have not planned anything for this week this week has been rough but I usually will like plan out my week figure out what days what videos are going up when I was streaming on my gaming channel it definitely helped to be able to write down my schedule I knew what we were building on stream and when main channel videos are going out and when actual real life situations were going on it's a really really easy way to kind of glance really quickly and figure out what days you have free and what time you can get things done it has a little memo board at the bottom as well um and then yeah my little whiteboard over there um, and in this area here right now I'm watching auntie yo-yo <laughs> she's streaming right now this monitor is the only thing I could think of that's new in this corner to be honest well actually no a lot of things are new now I think about it so like I said over here is more so like the office ish type area for Christmas mom got me this it's really messy looking because <laughs> of my clothes and stuff but she got me this little pad for your back and it pretty much makes this chair a lot more comfortable I don't have 400 500 dollars for no chair or I I, I I guess I do have that to go and buy on a chair, but I just can't bring myself to spend that kind of money on a chair just yet. So I just have this little memory back pad thing. Pretty much slides onto any chair. You can adjust it and it's extremely, extremely comfortable. Still have the exact same desk. This is the Ikea lemon table with the Alex drawers attached. So that's pretty much the exact same thing now. As far as my computer setup, I still have the same computer. Got it from YouTube Next stuff. Thank you so much, YouTube. But now I have like this cooling pad, if you guys can see. It keeps the computer nice and calm and cool I don't have a PC and I do a lot of PC gaming with like the sims and stuff so I have that cooler pad because the laptop overheats really really badly when I'm doing anything strenuous like Final Cut and sims and like recording and streaming and OBS like it gets really really hot so I have that now I got that from Amazon maybe like 15 20 dollars nothing more than that and then this little like four or five dollar mouse I think so that's one thing that's new there the monitor I just got for Christmas it was on sale I don't even remember how much it is but I think it's like 250 maybe $300 something like that but I use this for various different things I use it right now as you guys can see I'm using it as an external monitor so usually throughout the day I use it as like an extended monitor since I don't have a PC usually I will have like a video playing on one and then I'll have like Final Cut in another or I'm able to like scroll or like screen record I'll have like my gameplay on here and then be able to see what I'm recording on this side so it definitely helped it has made editing so much better and easier I 
also invested in a microphone now. I need to get one for the beauty channel, but this was mainly for the gaming channel. It's kind of bulky for the beauty channel, but it gets the job done for now. This is like $50, I think, something like that. And I added on like, the arm stand and this little like pop filter thing. All together, I think each mic, I got two of them, one for mom and one for me. <clears throat> I want to say it was like $120, something like that. Not too expensive compared to the other mics that are available on the market. So if you're in the search for a good mic for really, really good sound, this is amazing <laughs> and super, super cheap. I have that connected. I added on as well for Christmas or Black Friday, I think I got it, this four terabyte external hard drive. Because we have so many channels and so much footage that I'm keeping track of, this is like working wonders for me. I was struggling with it at first, but I kind of get it now and I keep a lot of footage on there. I'm able to like pre-record and bulk record so much easier now because all the footage just kind of chills on there and I have more than enough space for that. So that's pretty much this desktop area. I keep it pretty much empty because I you know I use a, I write a lot <laughs> I don't really like using computers like that to take notes so I really need as much space as possible I have the MacBook connected to the monitor on an HDMI cord and then at nighttime like I said this is used during the daytime as an external monitor but at night I use it the game on so PS4 is actually plugged into this monitor as well and I kind of swap between the two whichever one I'm doing which usually I'm playing a game at night not during the daytime I got a little pins or whatever you guys see me build some drawers and stuff on stream the other Day. so this is not really too fancy just have like my glasses I have gaming glasses yeah, yeah if y'all don't know y'all will know now I have really really bad eyesight and I get bad bad headaches so Joby got me these for Christmas and they are gaming glasses they pretty much bring down like the blue rays that you see from computer screens and stuff and it just minimizes headaches you don't get as much red eye I was getting so, so many headaches and my eyes were getting super red at the end of the night for looking at the screen for so long my regular glasses memory cards and stuff this I forgot to tell y'all so this is another thing I added Added here is these LED lights. I'm gonna show y'all at nighttime, but it's just this little cheap little strip. I got it from Walmart for five or ten dollars. I'm not really sure. I have so many different modes. Like this one's like colors. You can do all different kinds of colors. I'll show you guys at nighttime as well. But um, this one is like sound optimized as well, so you can have like music playing and it'll change colors to the sound of the music. So that's what this little remote is for. The rest of these drawers are not really that amazing. I'm still figuring out how I'm gonna organize them. It's like my junk drawer, just a hot mess.com. This is a little bit organized. These are all of my, my microfiber towels for like hair tutorials and all of my capes and drapes for clients or whenever I'm doing hair. <laughs> I got this big, big thing of wipes. I go through wipes so, so quickly. I love using wipes. Pretty much all my cleaning supplies in this last drawer. Now this section here, you guys may not recognize it, but this is my bookcase that you guys used to see all the time in my background of my videos. Now I went ahead and split the bookcase in half. A lot of times when you're buying really, really tall bookcases, they need to be like drilled into the wall to keep them steady so they don't topple over. And I hated that. And I, I ranted to you guys about the whole like <laughs> me starting off new and fresh this year as far as products and things. So I downsized so now I have one half in here one half in my room over here is like my tech areas like what I like to call it I have like the printer printer papers and labels and things like that it's my gaming area my little ps4 my little controller all my empty boxes and snacks extra light bulbs for the vanity and then all of my camera gear at the bottom here now this section here the Sun is actually going down this section here is my little beauty section my little vanity I think I vlogged a, a bit of it put this together DIY this well mom mainly put it together my switch the light bulbs when we first did it I got the wrong light bulbs but I showed you guys on stream that we got the right light bulbs this time so I have that this is not fully together but I painted this vanity it used to be a black vanity that's kind of that area I'm gonna have all of my makeup brushes and these little things I can't remember what the name of that store is I just got these for like two dollars I think yeah a dollar 75 each they're wooden I'm gonna paint them white I might do it on the channel to be honest but those are actually toothbrush holders <laughs> I bought three of them since they were only two dollars and I think I'm gonna kind of leave them like that paint them white so that they blend in more with my little area but it's so much more easier now to film like beauty videos I could pretty much just put the camera over here like this and then be in the mirror like doing my thing you guys see I don't have the bench anymore at the window it was just too much <laughs> I have so much new furniture now that is just too much in that area so now we just have this little situation I still have this part of the bench we cut the bench in half we created so now I have like a little stool for this vanity and I bought a second drawer these are two separate drawers I showed you guys on stream pretty much got two of them stacked them together they were stackable and now they're like a bootleg Alex drawer for literally half the price those Alex drawers 
were $79.99 plus the top. Like that was an expensive setup I invested in there. So I went a little cheap. I found these at Hobby Lobby. I initially bought it for storage and I got them for about $21 I think a piece. That's like a $50 setup, something like that. Yeah, from Hobby Lobby with the coupons and stuff. I'm keeping all of my extra hair tools and makeup tools up here. All of my extra photo stuff for filming and things like that stays over here on my backdrop, stands and all that stuff. It's getting a little dark <laughs> so I had to turn on the light. So these are all of my extra hair products and things and makeup. Well not um, hair products, mainly makeup but I brought a little bit of hair products for a tutorial that I just did. Backdrop paper, all that stuff stays here. These are some hot tools that I've either reviewed and I just kind of like the box I want to keep the box or I haven't touched. Like these two I haven't touched. I bought some things and I still haven't used them. <laughs> these are some little weights for the stands. I tried organizing my drawers a bit. So this top drawer is like all of my makeup essentials, like just random things. And these are all of my hot tools, like accessories and things. My hooded dryers, blow, um, blow dryer attachments, things like that. Hot tools, flat irons, blow dryers, things like that. And then this section here is all hair. These are all of the things I use for videos, my hair ties, butterfly clips, combs and things like that, bobby pins, pretty much everything I usually need and like grab for during a tutorial. So all of my accessories and thread, applicator brushes, scissors and things like that. And then these are all of my wig caps. It's not coming out because I have so many. I just bought a few things to add to my collection. A lot of times I need like these shower caps and things. So I just bought a pack of those. They don't fit my head, but they look great in photos, like for Instagram and stuff. And I got this little hair tie satin wrap for like when I lay down my edges or do ponytails. So I don't have to use a full hair tie. Oh, hair scarf. So that's that whole area there. And then over here, like I told you guys, it's pretty much just, <laughs> just kind of there at this point. I don't really have it put together. I have some products up. This was supposed to be a background, but the lens that I have, it doesn't really show it much. So I don't really know what I'm going to do with this little shelving system. I'll figure out something, but I might take it out of here and like put it downstairs or something. I don't know. <laughs> and then my ring light. And then as far as this closet, and let me give you guys a good gist of the, the space that I have. Like there's just so much space in here y'all so so much space and it feels like more space than the other room the closet we semi-organized up here we're getting rid of a lot of things a lot of like towels and sheets and things like that bedding we found that a lot of the packs of hair that i had had these little tabs on them and make them easy to hang so now i hang all of the items that i can find that have those little tabs on them i do that so this is all like my braiding hair i need to do videos on this stuff these are the ones i've done already this is the wig i'm wearing right now kind of kept that out so i know so that's pretty much everything that can hang what can't hang kind of stacks up on top of this drawer these are all wig human hair wig and um my drawers are still the same these have like pretty much like rollers and extra little supplies things that have come in this is like a, something that was sent to me pr clothing that was sent to me and then just like random stuff here that doesn't really have a place <laughs> we're still organizing this this is all of our shipping supplies for orders and things like that and that's pretty much it so yeah so that's pretty much the entire room it's really straight to the point it's not nothing too spectacular like I said pretty much everything is the same I just added a couple new items so all together um, I want to say this before we go ahead and leave like I said you guys check out the previous office tour where I showed you guys how we DIY a lot of things I'll also take you guys into my room and show you guys what my product stash looks like now now that it's downsized and downgraded I'll I love just minimalism in this room now I absolutely love it I don't know about y'all but I can't do too much clutter I'd be liking like a lot of room to walk around and stuff so I love this new setup by no means did this entire setup come together all at once <laughs> I am not rich <laughs> at all we, we, we working we hustling do not take this video as like bragging or like I went and bought all these things at one time legit started off with this small little writing desk from Walmart in the corner of my bedroom <laughs> so if you are starting a vlog channel or beauty channel any kind of YouTube channel and don't have much space to work with work with what you have kind of make a little corner in your room and you can always upgrade later the house that we're in right now this is pretty much like a guest bedroom this is like a spare bedroom so that's the reason why i'm able to take this entire space and like use it but i know this that's not the case for most people you guys will have to use what you have you might not have an extra room but i have plenty of videos showing you guys how we diy things my setups and pretty much every setup that i've had <laughs> this is the most extravagant setup that i've had in a very long time i'm very very happy and proud of it but yeah i just wanted to put the little two cents in there for the most part to be real with y'all the, the only thing I've bought in this entire room is the monitor and my hard drive and the lights for that the lights and like the vanity setup for the most part the rest of the stuff I got as gifts I put it on my list every single year for birthday and Christmas and all that stuff I got a lot of gifts the computer was gifted to me from YouTube so 
like I said, if you're on a budget, if you're on a low like I was and like I am still, <laughs> just kind of make it work with what you have. And instead of spending your birthday money and Christmas money on purses and things like that, if you really want like a nice setup and you want to invest in your business and your channel, take that money and buy little things here and there. Don't be afraid to re-upholster stuff. Don't be afraid to take hand-me-downs and thrift shop things. Use coupons at all but yeah i hope you guys enjoy my little office tour and i'll see you guys in the next video i'm gonna go ahead and show you all my room really quickly okay so this is my little humble product storage stash y'all it's literally three shelves high technically two because these are nothing but samples and empty bottles for um product empty videos that's it like my stash is really really small now yeah i love you guys so much i hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll see you guys in the next video my girlfriend